Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Uh, okay. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Uh, why are you asking, actually? I wouldn't jump to him going, is that a threat? Are you going to do something to my colony? That, I mean, like, if he's here to help... Yeah, if you jumped on his throat now, you're just doing the same thing everybody else on the ship is doing. Yeah, that's not really fair to him. Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? They're so Vulcans. I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Yeah, half the crew saying that. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Um, why are we being secretive about it? There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. Yeah, figured. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Uh, Prothean? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Uh, okay. Well, I don't know. I think they're hyping it up too much. Yeah. So why did we tell the council? Nah, I can see why they, we would tell the council. That's kind of obvious. Oh, yeah. Um, he doesn't sound worried to me, but actually, I'm just glad he's here to help. That's probably the best action. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Uh... What's going on, hmm. Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. I was impressed when I studied the reports from Torfin. A grim business, but you got the job done. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Oh, awesome. Well, that's freaking cool. I'm more surprised that he would do it, of all people, but... Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Well, sweet. That's kind of awesome coming from you. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. All right. So let's hear more about all this stuff. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. Because it's I didn't a read the mission farm, briefing ahead of time for some reason. But it reason. represents something much bigger. Seriously. Eden Prime well, I mean, if it's on a need no basis, then colonies. maybe, but... It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds. To forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. This is not it's need to know. <laughs> humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Okay, about them Protheans, then. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. 
Uh, about the bacon. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. <laughs> Excuse me for a second. I'm pretty sure the Mars station is not a small data cache. <laughs> I mean, I, I've, I've seen it. I know how big it is in the third game. It's not a small data cache. But whatever. Uh, wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Okay. That all makes sense. Um, off the top of my head, I don't actually know which races are in the Attican Traverse and which ones in, are in the Terminus systems. Um, I thought they all kind of blended together at this point, but... Are the Batarians in the Terminus? I think... Because I don't think they are part of the Council. I don't think they're a council race. We'll have to look out for that. I, I need to refresh my memory on what goes where. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! Starship Troopers 2, Joker, is that really what you felt you needed our immediate attention? We are under attack, taking heavy casualties! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't... Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... Man, I'd love to know who's doing this camera work. Cuts out after that. No calm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at 38.5. He twitched. Status report. He did twitch. 17 minutes out, twitched. Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Kind of looks like a large version of Thing from Adam's family. I thought it looked like just a Engaging giant hand systems. reaching down, and yeah. I was really confused. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Well, that's what Thing is. It's a hand. I'm your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top it's priority. Lovely. He started Approaching shouting all of a sudden, one. and the, the, it wasn't noisy Nine, enough for him to be doing us? that yet. <laughs> I move faster on my own. <laughs> I did notice that, actually. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll think feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. All right, you can count on us. He's good. He's a good guy. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. I'm enamored with Nihilus. He's pretty. He's pretty awesome. We are Turing. approaching drop point two. I think all terrains are pretty awesome. Yeah. He's like, I put your name. Full ship's just like we got. You know those Turians. You know we got a Turian on board. You know what they're like. It's like, what are you talking about? Well, it doesn't explain it at the start, oh, but. Now. They were part of the first contact war, yeah. The I... flood! Damn. Sorry. <laughs> I, I freaked out. What? <laughs> when I first was playing through this, it was right after I'd played Halo. So, um, 
They look like the flood zombies. And I was like, it's the, it's oh, the flood! I, I had no idea what you were talking about, so like all of a sudden you're just shouting these random words that don't mean anything to me, and you're just shooting at these blobs, and you're like flailing all around the place. I'm just like, well, wait, did you just have an aneurysm or something? No. It, for some reason, these little like target practice um, monsters look exactly like the flood zombies from the first Halo. So. Uh, a uh, lot of Halo references are going to go over my head. <laughs> I'm not going to make a ton of...